If I was holding $10,000 and said all you had to do to get that money was to make a single free throw, how confident would you feel? Now, what if I gave you a choice? You could pick between shooting the free throw yourself or you could let your boy Stephen Curry take it for you. Which option would you go with? If you still want to take it yourself, you're an idiot. So when it comes to stock picking and investing, why do we think that we're Stephen Curry and we're realistically more like Shaq? With eToro copy trading, you have that opportunity to pass up your shot, give it to a professional to increase your chances of success. And you can do this all for free. So that's exactly why I'm investing $1,000 with eToro copy trading. And I'm gonna tell you why today. Firstly though, this is not financial advice. I'm just documenting what I'm doing. So go ahead and seek a financial advisor if that's what you're after. So to start with, a few of you are probably like, well, what is eToro copy trading? It is as the name suggests. It's on the platform eToro and it is a feature which allows you to copy investors. You can pick from a wide variety of them and you can see their performance over the past few years as well as their background and other things like that. But how can we tell that they're any different from us who don't really know what we're doing? Well, if you look at somebody's profile, beside their name, there should be a star with a certain color. You want to be looking for people with a black star. This is the highest rating and means they are an elite pro. In order to get this status, they have to pass a qualification. This is an advanced investment management qualification, which they have to do in order to be able to qualify as an elite pro. Now I know qualifications don't guarantee success or even competence for that matter, but it does mean if you choose to invest with someone that has a black star beside their name, you feel safe knowing that they at least know a little bit about investing. People with this black star elite pro status are also given free access to a number of investing resources. This means they can further their research into stocks and investing which gives you a better chance of becoming profitable and helps them out as well. You can also find out a bit more about the investor you want to invest with. A lot of them have a background info section where they might tell you a little bit about their previous job history or what makes them qualified to do this. You'll see quite a lot of people say how many years they've been investing for, any experience within businesses or anything like that. If we use this example here, we can see that this guy has built an eight figure consulting business, sold it as well as having a few other successful startups. So it's safe to say he probably knows more about how a business works than I do. Finally, these people that you're copying, they get paid based on their performance. So that encourages them to do well, which of course will mean you will do well and earn a greater return. After all, everybody wanna earn some coin. So why am I doing this then? Well, I don't think it's too difficult to figure out the main advantages of this. Firstly, you're passing your money over to somebody who invests and studies the market full time. That is their job, for a lot of them at least. This means they can definitely afford to put a lot more time into research than you and I might be able to. Related to that, this means you don't have to do any research, which means you have more free time to do things you enjoy doing. The second key advantage that we can see is that these investors tend to return a much higher percentage than the market average. So the S&P 500 averages around seven to 9% each year. However, a lot of these investors are well exceeding that. I'm hoping that with my investments, I can average around 20% a year, so roughly double the average. I'm aware that this last year has been a bit of an anomaly. So there are investors who are up 60, 100% plus over the past year. And I don't think that's uh, sustainable. That's not gonna happen every year. So that's why I've gone with a more realistic 20% per year. Now, the downside. And there's always a downside. The main one is that there are no tax advantaged accounts on eToro. So for those of you within the UK, this means you unfortunately can't get an ISA. And for those of you in the US, there is no tax advantaged equivalent either. So this does mean, although your money will be compounding, growing, hopefully profitably, when you do decide to cash out, you will have to pay capital gains tax on your profits, providing you're over the threshold. But realistically, if you wait 30 years and you got a million to pull out, then I'll still take 800,000 over nothing. Now the second main disadvantage of this is that you're not actually learning how to invest. You're not learning how to analyze stocks, how to make price predictions, how to see why a stock is moving. This means if you did want to dabble in your own individual stock picking in the future, 
this isn't going to help you. However, if you're not that worried about that and you just want to make some money, then this could be great. And now the fun part, let's invest the money. Let's, let's get this bread. I've decided to split my investment between two people. The two people I've gone with are two of the most popular people on the platform. Good old Wesley and Richard. So let's jump onto the laptop and do that now. So here we are in the copy people section of the website. I'm gonna put 500 into each person. If we click on Wesley here first, we can see that over the last year, he has averaged 60%, which is crazy. I don't think that's gonna be kept up, but it's pretty nice anyway. So if we go over here, we can see his portfolio. We can see everything that he is holding. We can also see his performance over the past uh, year or two in the form of a chart as well, which is very nice. We're just gonna go ahead and copy now. So we click on copy. I'm gonna put in $500. I'm just gonna set that to $100 as I'm planning on leaving this in here for a very long time. So I'm not worried if there's a bit of fluctuation, but I really hope it doesn't drop 80%. So we're gonna click copy now, copy open trades as well, click copy. And voila, we're already down. 0.5%. Next, let's have a look at Richard. We can see that he has 67% return in the last year. Again, not something I expect to continue, but very nice all the same. Again, have a quick look at his portfolio. We can have a quick look at his chart over the past year or two and see what his performance is like. If we look over here, you can see that he says a minimum amount to invest is 500. So that's exactly what we're putting in as well. So I'm gonna put in 500. Copy open trades, just bring it down to 100. I'm going to make sure I've got copy open trades selected. And then I'm gonna click copy. And there we go. So we have now invested our $1,000, 500 of each. And I'm excited to see what that looks like in the future. Now doing a lump sum investment like that probably isn't the greatest idea, but dollar cost averaging $1,000 over 12 months didn't sound as catchy as the title. Plus these have minimum investments as well. So this just made more sense. But now it's just a case of sitting back and let them do the work. Stay tuned as I'll have a one month update coming in a month's time. If you want to know more about why I'm not opting to pick my own individual stocks, then you need to watch this video here.